to witness another Savior's day. And we thank Allah for Imam Warathi Muhammad II, Sister Robin and the staff, for the beautiful work that they have done and to preparing Savior's Day for us. And we want to thank Imam Alfred Muhammad, who's been an aid and a support of Imam Warathi Muhammad II over the last 10 years, and we want to thank him also. We asked the question, what is Savior's Day? And I'm saying that this is a privilege and an honor for me. They asked me to come and to speak. This is a momentous privilege that Imam Warathi Muhammad gave me to speak to you today. We would like to thank other Imams, invited guests, my family, and most, my, most of all, my brothers and sisters. I remember. In 1962 to now, but I remember when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and Imam Warathi Muhammad on Savior's Day was on this platform. For me to have this honor and the privilege, this is really a momentous privilege of, of tremendous gathering for me to be able to speak on the same platform as my leader spoke. Today is the state of affairs. Mm. These sisters that came before me, they were fired up and ready to go. <laughs> but today is a day of community, report, and direction. The question is asked, what is Savior's Day? What is Savior's Day? Savior's Day is a celebration of our legacy, of our, the sacrifice of our ancestors, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Warathi Muhammad. Those are the three areas that I want to cover. Our ancestors, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and Imam Warathi Muhammad. That's not the Savior's Day, it's our legacy. And those sisters, they, they did the legacy, I and mean, they really did an excellent job. Our ancestors, they were deprived of their um, going about and, and dealing, dealing with this every day they, through slavery. The coming through slavery, the loss of language, the loss of education, the loss of identity, and the loss of culture. These were the sacrifice that our ancestors, uh, or what our ancestors made during that time. All of these things, we were laid down as an extinct as they were going through, through slavery. Our slavery, our ancestors paid the debt for our citizenship here in America. That's right. Our citizenship, because how do we get citizenship papers? We got this because we're standing on the grounds of our ancestors. Right. You know, Imam Warathi Muhammad said, you have to, you know, sometimes you have to start off slow, but then we build up steam. Yes. You know, it's just like a steamroller. So we're building up some steam. We didn't get to the meat yet. We're just starting off. Allah saved us and gave us our first resurrection. He gave us our first resurrection. In 1930, Sister Clara Muhammad introduced the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to W.D. Farad's teaching. There she is. She is the first of Islam. She introduced the Honorable Elijah Muhammad to the teachings of W.D. Farad back in 1930, which became the inception of the nation of Islam. How was we resurrected, the first experience? We accepted uh, al-Islam under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We were dead to the knowledge of ourselves. Surah 75, called the resurrection. With the name of Allah, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. I bear witness to the resurrection day, and I call to witness the self-reproaching spirit. Does man think that we cannot assemble his bones? Nay, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. There he is. Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad 
open the path for us to freedom, justice, and equality, and Islam. We are fighting for Islam, and we will surely win. With our Savior Allah, he didn't say Master for Allah Muhammad, he says, with our Savior Allah, the universal king. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. He says, we're fighting on the battle to restore his dignity. Talking about us. To learn how to eat to live. Free our minds from mental slavery. Putting us on the path of upright living. Dignity, proper dress, how to be respectful, self-esteem. This was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes. Freedom, justice, equality. You know that. Yes. That's, the, that's the symbol there. And they had the flag. Well, that was the flag during that era. That was a, like a baby's being born. The first thing you have to do when a baby is born is to wash him up. You give him a bath. Right. You couldn't have, you could not give him the full impact of Islam. You have to clean him up. So that's what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's position was. That was his job. He was to clean, he had to do the, the, the cleaning, the washing. He taught us the science of business. Ownership of real property, restaurants, schools. We printed our own newspaper. Is that right? Yes, that's right. These sisters did an excellent job, brother, when they were started the teaching of uh, what the history was, but they, they did an excellent job. But we had our own paper factory, printing Muhammad Speaks. He said, do for self. We had a, a cannon factory. Listen to this. We have our own bank. Now, let me tell you something about a bank. You, you don't open up a bank unless you have in reserve the money that you want to take from the people before you take it. You got to have that money sitting in escrow before you can even open up a bank. That's the rules of the federal government. The rule of the federal government. We had a, 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 a cannon factory. We had a, a, a farmland. You say, well, why don't we have it today? But I'm going to come to that. <laughs> yeah, we, have to, we have to get to that point. I do call to witness the resurrection day. I want to go back to that. Uh, Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Malcolm X was trained by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He made him nationally known and internationally known. He was standing on the shoulders of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for, for fame and fortune that he was called. He was not even known. If he didn't see Elijah or gotten involved with Elijah Muhammad, he would have never gotten fame and fortune. So, Elijah, so he made him his national spokesman. became internationally known. That's how, this is the man we're talking about. He washed them up and cleaned them up and made them, you know, when they were in prison, he told them how to be able to form his action and, and, and propped them up. Minister Louis Farrakhan. He was a showman. He cleaned them up. He cleaned up the honorable, if you want to call him, the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He was not known in the, in, in the public unless the honorable Elijah Muhammad gave him the spotlight. In 1965, or just a little before that when the Malcolm X left in the park, mm -hmm. moved away from the honorable Elijah Muhammad who made him. That's right. Mosque number seven was burnt out. And from that burnout, we had to regroup. And based on that regroup, we have to bring in somebody else. I'm going to switch around here a little bit. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was very powerful at that time of picking men. 
So he sent Minister James Shabazz from, from Newark, New Jersey, called the Son of Thunder. You know what I'm talking about, the Son of Thunder. He held, he had Moss number 25, Moss number 7, hold it together. After he hold it together, then in September of 1965, go get Minister Farrakhan, sit him up here so I can tell him. That's when he installed them at Temple Number 7 and made him international, and made him a national leader, an international acclaim. This is the work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We had James, Minister James Shabazz right here in Chicago, Chi Town. This is Chi Town. He was the one who was very close to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He did all of the funerals. And he was the aide of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad during that time. Very, very, very uh, helpful and respectful man. And he did a, a, a wonderful work. We had uh, Minister or uh, Imam, uh, called Minister at that time, Jeremiah Shaheed Muslim Shabbat. There he is. There he is. <laughs> I'll tell you in the background there is the, the Captain Raymond Sharif, who was another aide, son-in-law of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I think I got this right. I don't think I'm off pace. Okay. And then we had the, the, the Clyde Rockman, who was another aide and support that of Elijah Muhammad at that time. And uh, we also had Captain. Um, Elijah Muhammad II. Yeah. He was also a captain. Yeah. He, he worked very, very diligently with, 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 with his father at that time. And he also became a supreme captain with regard. Then we had, there he is, uh, leading in, in the ranks there with the, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Powerful uh, fruit class at that time. <laughs> then we had Imam Yusuf Shah. Now, even though he was not a national figure, he was in Temple Number Seven, worked with Malcolm X. Between the two of them, they were like one and the same, basically. And also a great supporter of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and as well as the uh, East Coast uh, uh, Regional Secretary, uh, 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 Captain. We also talking about Muhammad Ali. Now, Muhammad Ali, let me give you a little story about Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali fought as Cassius Clay when he knocked out Sonny Liston, and then after that he got involved with the teachings of the Honorable um, the Elijah Muhammad, he became a Muslim. So, you know, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was not with those sports. That's right. He, he was totally uh, abandoned that kind of uh, 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 entertaining type of situation during that time. So he came in and he gave him the name Muhammad Ali. So Muhammad Ali having to get ready to have the next fight. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, so if you know, I'm not, I don't want to cut out your livelihood. So I'll give you uh, 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 you'll let you go ahead and you know do your thing. But he said, but ask for a million dollars. Mm, yes, because they didn't pay those boxes. That's they paid right. them $300,000, yeah. four or $500,000 of, of, of um, right. a, a, a amount of money to fight during that period of time. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad set the stage right. yeah. for sports. Right. Right. Baseball, football, yeah. basketball, uh, tennis, right. all of them getting millions of dollars. There's right. one guy just got, I forgot his name, he just got signed a contract for, for 10 years for $300 million. That's $30 million a year. But that was because of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You had John Ali, who was also a very good aide. As a national secretary. There they go. John Ali, he was a very supportive of of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. What, well, wait a minute. This is Savior's Day. We want to know about our legacy. We want to know a little bit about our history. We want to know a little bit about what took place then so that we could be able to go forward. So 
John Ali was the national secretary. He was in temple number seven, then he transferred to the national headquarters. Then we had Abbas Rasul, which was Clarence at that time. He became the national secretary. I got a story to tell about him, but I will move on. <laughs> Macy Ohaziz, who was uh, the secretary for Temple Number no. Seven, but he was he was so significant uh, in that time due to the fact is that um, he was an Arabic scholar as well, and he did a lot of international training and going forth uh, in dealing. So he became very instrumental. As a matter of fact, that's how I got the first name, because he was taking the reports out to, to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and he said to him, and he gave a report coming out of Temple Number no. 7, so I think I signed my name Israel 2X. He says, well, tell that brother. <laughs> so tell that brother he should change his name, because that name means fighting with the angels of God. Right. So he came back, so we took off the real. All right. R E A L and put M A I L. So I kept the, I kept the two letters, and so we were good to go at that point. <laughs> so and et cetera, et cetera. But that is some of the highlights of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad there with the, uh, Muhammad Ali made him internationally known. The minute he changed his name, he got it went, went all over the world. He got a million followers. A billion, matter of fact, not a million, but a billion followers because of Muhammad Ali. Elijah Muhammad. The second resurrection. This is where the meat comes in at. So I'll give you some meat right now. We witnessed the second experience of the resurrection under the leadership of W.D. Muhammad in 1975. 1975. Yeah. Isn't that significant? You had to talk about a 75, the resurrection, and then we're talking about it in 1975. You see, you see the relationship here? Nothing happened by coincidence. I was going to lie, he meant to shake down when she just went like I had nine, same sorrow. And the sun and the moon joined together. Hold that eye in. Hold it right there. <laughs> Let it stand still. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. There was an eclipse in the month of Ramadan in the year 1894. A reformer comes to a people every century. We witness on Savior's Day 1975 an eclipse. We had the eclipse in 1894 during the month of Ramadan. But we saw an eclipse took place in 1975. The passing of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad the day before. Now, I think this old, I may mean, Allah be pleased with him. The day before Savior's Day. The next day, the Imam, the Honorable Imam Warathi Muhammad was raised to the leadership of the, of the nation of Islam at that time. The next day, no, that thing, that's right there, right there, that's the eclipse. That's the eclipse between the month of Ramadan, 1894, and 1975, you saw the eclipse, the physical eclipse, but then we saw the spiritual eclipse in 1975. We witnessed the spiritual representation of the sun and the moon of Adam Swam in America. We witnessed the transition taking place. It brought about a revolution in our lives. A new world came into being. The high and the mighty were laid low, and the downtrodden was exalted. So we can see ourselves. We see this before our very eyes with Imam Warathi Muhammad in the teachings. Right there, with this eclipse, this is what really happened. I mean, for the day before, and I have to stop there, I mean, because it makes, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know, we don't see it that way. But, you know, I mean, I was fired up. 
Monday would be exactly 44 years this Monday. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I'm, I'm fired up. Um, in 1975, January 18th. No, the 17th before. I'm going to give you the night before. The Imam Warren D. Muhammad came in on the red eye from Chicago. Everybody know about the, that's the last flight out coming out of Chicago into New York. Call it a red eye. Coming at one o'clock in the morning. And uh, we went to a, call, a place called The Stage in, in mid Manhattan. We had chicken soup. Yeah. Yeah. soup. I mean, chicken soup. And he said, Yeah, I got a, a lot to talk to the fruit the next day about. So the next day, he came in, fruit fired up, Minnesota Fire Column, stay in temple number seven, and he laid out. I had a headache after it was <laughs> Because the the, 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 the the impact that he had, I was converted to right then in that day based on what I heard before he became, he wasn't even the leader yet, Elijah Muhammad was still alive. And, and I got criticized when we were traveling with that eight cities in seven days, I was very fortunate as a, as a, as a, to be here today, stand on this platform where both leaders were standing, you know, that I'm representing some cause of what they were talking about. I mean, this is powerful. That's right. That's right. This is an honor. Thank you, brother. <laughs> we witnessed the eclipse, you know, in, in, in 2000, and I think it's six, when the uh, uh, Senator uh, uh, Barack Obama said he's running for president. I said, oh, come on. So I watched him right out of, I, you know, he's out of Chi-Town now. He's like, so he was in Springfield, Illinois. I know a little bit about Chicago, because I've been here a lot, came here a lot of times. I even worked out there in Rockville, Illinois, when, when I was traveling back in the, in the 60s. So I know a little bit about Chicago. So he went and spoke him and Biden or whatever. It is. I, said, I listened to the speech. Was called. I said, oh, this is easy. But we saw his, from slavery, our ancestors, we saw Obama raise 2009, was sworn in as a president of these United States of America. So we witness Allah's, it says Allah's um, signifies a new spirit and awakening, a reformer to promote and further the cause of truth to inspire his followers to a new direction. Our leader, our leader, the honorable Imam W.D. Muhammad told us to remake the world. There he is. What does he have in his hand? He's got a Quran in his hand. Remake the world. What is he talking about? He says, the world is our mind. The world is our mind. Imam Warrant Imam is instilling us the traditional practice of our Islam. He put us on the mustaqeen. The mustaqeen, the straight path of our Islam. Now, we know. I mean, and they're just the, the, the ones who get up and criticize the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But Honorable Elijah Muhammad had a specific job. Right. He was not the one to, to put us on the most key. He was only to clean up. He was the wash up. The, 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 what do you call it? Uh, 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 no, not Wuzu. Wuzu. That's not Wuzu. That's, that's the whole body got to be wild. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Am I right, brother? Am, am I doing okay? I told you I was going to start off slow. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we have to start off slow because if you go too fast, you know, you, you get too much involved here. He put us on the path of the Mustaqeen. The day when the Savior's Day, the next day, he became our leader. We witnessed the spiritual uh, awakening that I get to. 
Yeah, I'm on the right. Yeah, I'm on the right page. We witnessed the spiritual representation of the sun and the moon of our Islam in America. That's the that's the two I had that I had nine when I was talking about that sun and the moon that Elijah Muhammad and Warthi Muhammad. That's what the eclipse. That yeah, there it is. With this with this transition take place, it brought about. No, I did this already. Yeah. I'm, 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 am I on the right page? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need to hear it again. Okay, hear it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did this page. Yeah, okay. But it's okay. Yeah, let me let me repeat it. Maybe it needs to be repeated. It says, the new world will come into being and the high and the low will be laid low and the downtrodden will be exalted. We see this before our very eyes. Okay. Yeah, all right. Now, I don't want to get mixed up here because I got a lot of... Yeah, yeah, put it on the bottom. There we go. It says, the resurrection of our selves. We are a living witness of the day of the resurrection. Does man think that we cannot assemble his bones? Symbolically, bones represent our spiritual qualities, character, values, spiritual knowledge. The physical represents the frame, the structure. Let us follow the direction of W.D. Muhammad uh, taught um, to resurrect our lives. Just bear with me. Because this is important. Some of these guidelines we can use to resurrect ourselves. We're talking about 1975, Sora 75, all connected. This is a spiritual ramification of what this community is all about. This is no accident. This is what Allah has prevailed. Yes, sir. But I want to go back to when I talked about the, the guzel, when, when, when Elijah Muhammad had to yes. wash up. Yes. It was the washing of the whole body. We couldn't make salat. Right. We, were, we were not ready for the making, making right. going down. Matter of fact, we were in, uh, in California when he first introduced us to salat, when he started bending down mm -hmm. in the ruku position. Mm -hmm. And we all were stunned because we were, you know, at the fruit class, and we were, we, we, we were, well, we were always standing up with our hands out. <laughs> But we were standing up because we couldn't make the, 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 the full salat because we were not physically and mentally staged in that particular direction at that time. So here's some of the guidelines that, 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 that we, we can have as solutions. This is for us. Change our habits. Obey obedience to our law. Patience, humble, kindness, generous, new approach to health and wellness, respect, loving, change of attitude, statesmen, helping the poor. These are some of the things we can do. some more logic logic to use your faculties or science psychology mental state common sense sound judgment forecast to estimate or calculate in advance. These are, these are ours. These are our responsibility to rec resurrect ourselves. Anticipate, to look forward, to prevent by acting in advance. That means you get ready to retire, or that you prepare for that, that you anticipate, you're driving your car, you see that guy over there gonna make a wrong turn. You gotta anticipate, get out of his way. So we gotta, are you prepared for every time? 
Are you preparing to put money aside? As your mom or our female just said, don't die broke. He says money, good homes, and friendships and all walks of life. But the first thing he said was what? Money. money. We need money. So you prepare for retirement? Or you want to retire off of Social Security? It's only going to give you the bare minimum. Especially if you didn't put nothing in there. You didn't, you didn't put anything in, you're not going to get too much out. You're talking about the resurrection. You know, resurrection is twofold. You know what resurrection means? It means to replace. It's not about a resurrection where you will die and go on the ground, you will come back up. No, that's the, that's not the same thing. Emergency. My car broke down, you broke your car broke down. You gotta get some new tires, your brakes is gone. Do you and now you if you have set on a certain income and you don't have no extra money to fix that car so you can get moving again, you're gonna have a problem. Then you're gonna take your rent money, or you're gonna take something to insurance money, or you're gonna do do some other crazy stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Pope, Pope Francis, April 29th, 2018, and I quote, sometimes truth is not easy to listen to. Prophet has always, prophet have always had to deal with being persecuted for speaking the truth. A prophet knows when to scold, but also knows how to open the, open the door. A true prophet put himself on the line. This is Pope. And you notice that the Pope just went recently to uh, one of the Muslim countries, uh, Abu Dhabi. No other Pope has went to Abu Dhabi. It shows you that Islam is on the rise. It has been resurrected because some of us have put it in the dungeon because of the way they have behaved. We're not uh, a terrorists. Now I want to make another connection, and I want to talk about after this. Um, we're talking about Surah 97. I'm going to talk about it in the Uthu Balayim and the Shaitan regime, this Malaric Manorahim. This is called the Night of Power. The Night of Power. I'm going to do three ayats, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. We have indeed revealed this message in the night of power. And what will explain to the, what the night of power is? It's a question mark. The night of power is better than a thousand months. We witnessed the night of power in the true leadership. I want to repeat. We witnessed the night of power in the true leadership. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, 41 years. Sister, they, they touched on it. I said, they stole my speech. <laughs> W.D. Muhammad, 33 years. Warathi Muhammad, 10 years. It's, eight, it's 84 years. 84 times 12. 84 years times 12 gives you 1,008 months. Wow. We are, we are the night of power. This community is the night of power. 84 years. And to the day, today, living proof that we are, this is, you haven't heard this from no other imam. They haven't told you this, not one. Go, go find them. Because you know what? Because they didn't do the calculation. Law didn't give them that. He gave it to us right. to present to this for, forum today. Leaving 16 years to complete a century, one moment of enlightenment under God, we, the Muslims in America, establish ourselves as the thousand months. We are, we are the thousand months. We are the thousand months. We are the thousand months.
the facts speak for itself. It says, a secretary is a recorder of deeds. And I'm reporting the facts. They're recording the deeds, and I'm just, all I'm doing is reporting the facts. And the Holy Prophet is, and the Holy Prophet is reported to have said that God will continue to raise from among his followers at, at, every, at, at the head of every century a divine reformer that would regenerate El Islam and give it a new life and vigor. He said, after every century, when W.D. Muhammad, Warwick D. Muhammad, and Elijah Muhammad, and Warwick D. Muhammad, they're, they're all in that century. Yes, yes. This is the new life. When he came to New York, he says, what he saw, he said, this is New Africa. We're going to do New Africa. We're working on, on building. We want you to spread the words, building for for the convention for this coming year yes, that we're going to have it a brand new new Africa co uh, convention completely different than what we saw before. So start spreading the word that we are going to uh, 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 give it a new vigor, a new spirit, a new awakening. That Allah will guide us and protect us as we go forward. Peace and security rises in our souls and lasts until this life closes. Now I gotta find that last page, oh yeah. And a glorious day of new spirit and a new world dawns. And the glory of days of a new spiritual world dawns. This is what we are all about as a community. Allah has blessed us to see the resurrection of the eclipse. Remember, you, 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 you put this in order. So when the, when the sheikhs and the muftis and all them come, tell them that we know about the resurrection. We saw the eclipse. We saw the night of power. Put those two ayats in place. We saw the night of power. We saw the resurrection. You don't look for no physical. This was a spiritual. It came right before our eyes. Thank you very much. I saw